Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy a DAP, and you can do it pretty quickly and without much technical acumen, which is nice. So the first thing you're going to do is set up your project folder, and the second thing that you're going to do is pull up Remix, and so uh, then you'll create a new file and name a Solidity file what you uh, whatever you want it to be named. Um, if you're unfamiliar with writing Solidity, Remix also has a tutorial guide. You can click Get Started right here and learn. But you can also just use ChatGPT to ge generate code. Um, and so then you'll need a uh, another thing, which is a Web3 provider. So I use Coinbase Wallet extension because I like to use the base Gurley test network. So I've got this test net right here, Gurley Ethereum. It's really easy to get some Gurley Ethereum. All you have to do is go to the Coinbase Wallet faucet and you need like $10 of Ethereum or something like that. But yeah, so then once you have all of that, what you'll do is, okay, so the app I'm gonna build right here is just a short dApp, like an e-commerce site that would split revenue 60-40 between two addresses. So now I just need to copy this address right here, which is just what I want one of these addresses to be. Copy, paste. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my second address right here and go to address two, receive, copy, space, control V, GPT-4, does all the work for you. In the meantime, pull up the ethers.js documentation. So pull this up and you need to use this library in order to connect to the Web3 wallets. So click getting started right here and you can use this code right here, but you can also load it locally. And so that's pretty easy to do. All you do is click ethers library right here, copy it, and then you go into your project folder, say new file ethers, dot min dot js create new file and you paste it in and save changes and it'll load and so by that time you've coded up your dap right so just copy this code and it should be pretty easy just to create a new file new code dap dot soul and Oops, come on, come on, what the heck? Yeah. Oh. All right, so now we have our Solidity app, paste it in, control, it's in it, uh, you press control S, or you can also compile it right here, and it'll save. And so then you have your DAF set up, and then you go to this, this page right here, deploy and run transactions, and you can test and deploy in the Remix virtual machine, but we're just gonna go right ahead and use our test network. So we are connected through the Coinbase wallet extension using this network right here. We go to settings, networks, test nets, base girly, and it's uh, got a check next to it. All right, so then uh, you can deploy to the test network and it'll interact with your wallet. hundred. $1.34 of base girly to deploy a contract that is incredibly cheap. All right, and so now we've got a deployed contract. So now, how do we interact with it on the blockchain? So let's go back to our ethers.js documentation, and we also need to create an index.html file right here. Um, all right, edit, boom. All right, and uh all right so now um uses this all right so now we're gonna create an html and css interface for button that uses this all right um and so then after that we'll create script tags and use the ethers.js documentation um so We'll start off by using this code right here, this module code, and uh, well, first things first, we will create our all right. So 
we just we don't we didn't want any of the stuff that it added just control V boom and let me pull up the web page um, and all right so then yep all right cool so now we just have a pretty blank web page and we can close that and so let's get rid of this stuff we don't need it um, so all right so now now we go into this part right here copy and paste into here all right so now we have our modules except instead of this address we just want to do dot slash ethers dot min dot js uh, all right and so then we have our code right there all right so then where what what code are we running well the code that's down here so we need to connect to metamask easy enough all you do copy and paste what you had right there right so then now when you load the web page it should interact with your page it should say web ed connect that academy is connected because that's the website on that I'm at. anyway um so then let's go uh figure out how do we query the blockchain how do we write to the blockchain how do we interact with contracts we just deployed a contract how do we okay well this code right here right how do we actually interact with the contract all right um just use this right uh, all right so we need our address okay and so this is actually the address of the contract right here and so what we'll need to do is go into remix and copy this address right here and this will be the address of the contract okay so then we go back to the ethers.js documentation and we'll need to use the abi uh, and so as a matter of fact all that code that's in that abi is uh, not really worth anything to us um, so what we just need to do is go to uh, the place where we compiled the contract and copy this ABI right here. Uh, and paste it into our code. All right, so just get rid of this boilerplate code from, oops, don't want, all right. Uh, all right. And so now we have our ABI in. All right, so then let's go back to the ethers.js documentation, the contract object. Okay, so then this is actually how you create the contract uh, object, right? So this is how you know the site knows what it's talking about. So we just use diabi and diaddress as our variable names. So you might want to change those. And we got the provider uh, as earlier, so. Um, we should be connecting to the contract. Let's uh, let's pull up our developer tools. Make sure that we're getting no errors when we refresh the page. And as a matter of fact, we don't get any of those. Uh, and so then, now we just need to make this button and this input field do something. All right. So. So I'm going to copy the entire code base. And all I want to say is, okay, chat, can you make it so the button uh, works and uses the amount, uh, amount that is put into the, um, val uh, the box? All right. Um, and... So then we're putting our entire code base in and it will now basically just give us a new. Yep. So it understands that we've done everything, right? So it says we've already imported ethers.js. I know. And we have instantiated our contract. However, we don't have any functionality to interact with the split payment button or send payments to contract. So then here's the modification of our code. 
which will create an interaction with the button and send a payment to the contract's split payment method. But they, they developed a great product over there at ChatGPT, so we are grateful for that. And uh, it looks like this code has everything except for the ABI again, so we're gonna have to paste the ABI again. All right, so, uh, drew, drew. All right, all right. and ABI, uh, replace right here. And boom, save changes. All right, and with that, we can refresh the page and say, let's say 0 0.001, boom. It does the wallet, confirm. And uh, yeah, that's our, how to build a dApp. Our dApp was built, now we're just testing it. And uh, you know, it, it, it should appear that uh, that this wallet, which was previously empty, wallet two. And as you can see, this address has received its base girly Ethereum as part of its share. So that's it. That's how to build a dApp very quickly, how to build up, you set up your entire dev system in a very short amount of time. Thanks for watching.